Hello, and today I want to show you how to better read weather forecasts. So there is a lot of options, so like their wind, UV index, uh, air quality, etc. So not only the just the uh, forecast itself. So let's start by what we have here. Uh, again, it's uh, most of the apps. This is Google weather. Uh, most apps will give you the same idea. So it's usually the same, just will probably look differently or you know, be, you find the, idea, uh, the parts in different parts of the page. What we have here is, right here we have the highest and the lowest uh, of the day. So we have 100 is the highest, 63 is the lowest. Well, pretty cool stuff we have here is the feels like. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it actually feels so right now it, it's corresponding with the same so this is what we have right now and this is what it feels like sometimes it feels hotter or colder than it actually is due to wind or other factors let's also show you what's right now right now it's sunny um, when you have a full sunny right here is usually when it's just it's sunny whole day same thing with if you have like a moon it's usually clear clear skies we have you can have a you have a graph here you can you can look here that is show you how the temperature will be in every in each hour of during the day you have no perception expected today too uh, another important factor is the humidity humidity usually contribute a lot to how hot uh, you feel outside so the higher the humidity, you'll feel hot. The lower the humidity, you will feel, it's not gonna feel as hot. So we have 16%, which is not bad at all. 16% is really dry hair, actually. Uh, I think it's more like uh, if you go more than 50, so usually closer to the coast, you have much higher uh, humidity levels. As more inland, you have lower humidity levels. Uh, another important thing here, is the UV index right here. UV index is how hot or basically how strong, how strong are, is the wind, uh, sorry, is the sun. So right now, because it's getting, right now it's low, so it, one. Uh, it's, I think it's ranging from one to like at least 12. Uh, it, this is, this is gonna be gonna be changed on the hour of the day. So right now we're like in seven, so it's almost ending. I'll show you guys a little later in a different location, so we're gonna see a higher UV index. So let's say during afternoon or noon, that's gonna be an extremely, especially when it has a clear sky. So if you have a forecast, if you have clouds, the UV index will be lower. You have perception. Um, right now there is no perception today, but when you do have, you have percentages. What's very good to, un to understand is that sometimes you have 50%, 50% does not mean, so it's a 50% chance of having the rain. So one out of two, there will be rain and one out of two won't be rain. So it's like a, some kind of a gamble. And again, you can see the perception in every hour during the day, you will be able to see right now there is no. Uh, another thing, important thing here is the wind. So wind can also help to feel a little like if if there if it's really hot in the wind, uh, and there is high winds, you'll feel a little colder. Nice to have some breathe, breathe. And uh, something cool here is, well, what you need to know is. Um, so under 10 is not a strong wind, like more than 10 or more than 15 even, I think it's gonna even show you, I'll show a different location, you're gonna, you might be able to see, so it has different colors, but more than 15, it's, it started to get annoyed, annoying. Um, so under five, it's barely, you can barely feel it. Um, uh, around 10, you can feel it, but it's not nothing, it doesn't, it's not too annoying. Um, again, more than 15, 20, even 30, that's a, that's a significant amount of wind. Uh, you can also see that when there is, sometimes you will see a drastic, drastic change in the wind 
that usually correspond with some kind of weather change. So sometimes during the day or sometimes if there is a suddenly a hot hair comes up or it's gonna be getting hotter in the next day, you will most time you will see some kind of wind change. So it's pretty cool to see. Uh, you, you can also see there is a light rain. So you see you have uh, this indicator. You can also see where is the wind come from. Sometimes this, uh, the direction correspond with the, how the air feels. So east usually will bring uh, hotter hair. And west usually it's from the, from the ocean, you know, a better breeze. So right now we have uh, southwest and you can see all like all the way here, all those, it's the direction. So that's gonna come from the south and you have southeast here. So that's a cool thing to see. Uh, another thing here, we have air quality. Air quality, it's sometimes it's like there is some places that the air quality is really uh, shitty sometimes due to when you're in a valley Sometimes they just get trapped there for a lot of, uh, for many days, so there is no breeze to replace the hair. So sometimes that causes that. Sometimes there is a lot of pollution in the area, so that might also increase. So as long as you're in the green, you're, pre you're pretty good. Um, until 100, you're still good. More than 100, that started to be a little dangerous, and you will you will have here the health message right now is ideal hair quality. But if it's going to be more than 100, you already started like to show some warnings. I think I remember one day I saw in India and it was like it had like really high, uh, really bad quality it was like around 400 and that was really, you can barely see. So this is like a cloud, sometimes it's like a cloud of air pollution. Um, uh, another thing that correspond with this is uh, the visibility. Sometimes a uh, higher pollution will also uh, intrude the visibility. So you won't be able to see that far. So 10 miles is pretty pretty good. So if there is a high air pollution, high air pollute, pollute area, you won't be able to see that far. Also visibility is corresponding with the, if there is like a fog or forecast. Uh, some kind of clouds, low clouds, you won't be able to see as far too. Uh, next we have uh, sunset and sunrise, so you have a pretty cool thing here. So you have one is the sunrise, one is sunset, you have this little graph that shows you, shows you, shows you when exactly. So this is where it starts and when it ends, and the sun is not here, the other side of the globe or whatever it's supposed to be. And you have dawn. The light just starts. When is the actual noon and dusk? When it's like really dark or mostly dark. You also have the length of the day. How long is the day? It's almost 15 hours because it's like I think it's most almost the longest day during the year. And we have remaining daylight, which is pretty cool to know sometimes if like if you're doing like some kind of a hike and you're not sure. This is a really easy way to just see, oh, all right, I have an hour and a half of daylights left. It's nice to see. Um, so let's, let's try to take a look in a different uh, area. Let's take Hawaii. So right now we see here we have uh, mostly cloudy right now. It's going to see a little differently. Same graph around, same idea, and you have low chance of perception. So we do have some perception. You see high humidity. So we have 60%, which is not high. Sometimes I guess, it, sometimes it will be even higher. Um, it's again, it's closer to the, like it's a coastline. So you're gonna be, you have uh, probably almost, uh, you have uh, high humidity. And you have moderate. So UV index is moderate. So Right now, the hour there is four and not like here was seven. So it should be higher, but due to the clouds, we see we have a moderate and not high. Let's take a look at the perception here. So we see 10, 10%, that's 10%. So that's uh, just like any probability, it's 10% of perception, nothing more. Uh, we have wind, 16, so moderate. See, it's already shows you, it's moderate. 
so it's not it's uh, you can actually feel it might, might be a little annoying so, uh, it's come from northeast I'm not sure what it says in Hawaii and you can see the rest you see different colors so 12 it's uh, probably where where to change so when it's green it's a little uh, higher but again every app might have different uh, different way of showing this information uh, air quality is pretty good there is uh, 33 uh, or oh, another thing here is the main pollutant sometimes you can see as you have uh, MP 2.5 I'm not sure what those mean but if you do go ahead or do some research uh, so in where I where I live is uh, ozone so I'm not sure what those mean again and different hours, uh, the sunset is a little different, and you have three hours of Monday in light, and you see length of day is 13 hours, not 14, and almost it's an hour longer here. Uh, I think that's it for here. And you also mostly have also for tomorrow, so you can also take a look on how it looks like. Again, you can see the graph, how the, how the day will look like. Usually it's gonna look more like that. But this time it's a uh, Y, it's probably a little different, so it's not really consistent. And you can see UV index is supposed to be 11, and probably we have like nice clear day. So you can also see that there is some differences here than here. So this is more cloudy, less cloudy. Uh, perception again, you can see, oh, you can see some nice, some nice, uh, that's really uh, like a hard wind. It's gonna be. 19 that's a uh, significant definitely and we also have that 10 days forecast so you can see for 10 days uh see how it looks like hawaii has the perfect weather you see it's like the same thing almost all day no much differences between the day and night so we have this is the uh, day and night that's the highest and the lowest on every day you can take a look usually i wouldn't much like uh more than like three to five days that's not really uh, precise, but still good to see what, what's going on. And you can also press on this and see a little idea. So humidity, you see some humidity IM, uh, information and you can see the times of the day. I'm gonna take this day and it's supposed to be humidity this time, extreme UV and how, like, uh, how the day will look like. If there is forecast, no forecast, rain or no rain but you do, you, do, you can see much you don't see percentage you see less information but you can still see some information so if i'm going to go back to to here and you're going to go to 10 days it will be a little different so you can see that there is like uh some change in the weather so right now it's really hot it's getting a little little like but not much different uh, there is no, there is no much difference, but sometimes you can see. Okay, so in the next few days, it's gonna be a little better, and that's a nice thing to know. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much.